Hey, what is up, everybody? Uh, another rough day. We're going to keep chugging along, though, to end this NBA regular season. Uh, a lot of people are not not performing to the ability that they really should be. Uh, let's recap real quick from yesterday, though. Uh, lock of the day, Carl Anthony Towns. Just got overshadowed by my aunt, man. Uh, uh, Anthony Edwards dropped a career high 49 points, so that steals a lot of shots from Carl Anthony Towns. Um, only ended up finishing with not even close to 37, I, don't, I believe. Um, so rough night for Towns and company there. Uh, Tobias Harris, our lone hit from yesterday, went under on his 15.5 points. He came out and he smacked two threes right to start the game, and I was like, oh my gosh, are you are you kidding me right now? Like he, I think the Raptors in that 76ers game, I think the the 76ers came out and hit five threes to start the game. They were up like 15-2, to two, and then the Raptors came back and won that game. Pascal Siakam went crazy. Uh, and then Miles Bridges, where did I even start, man? This is like the second time in the last couple of days that this happened to me where the person I bet on doesn't even score the in the first quarter. Like, so seven players touched the floor yesterday in the first quarter for the Charlotte Hornets. Um, all of them at least scored two points, except Miles Bridges. Miles Bridges goes over for, the, for four from the field, grabs one rebound, and scores zero points in the first uh, quarter and a half. Um, ends up finishing with like 19, and then doesn't touch the floor the entire fourth quarter. He did not touch one second of floor time in the entire fourth quarter. Um, I mean, I know that they were kind of blowing out the magic. They were kind of in blowout territory. But for him to not touch the floor the entire fourth quarter and every other starter to touch the floor besides him is really frustrating. Um, so Miles Bridges doesn't get uh, doesn't hit his line. Tobias Harris is our lone hit yesterday on his under 15.5 points. Um, uh, so with that being said, like I said, it's been kind of a tough, rough couple, couple of days here. Um, I think we got three days left in the NBA regular season before the playing tournament starts the 12th through the 15th. So uh, we're just going to try to do everything we can, man. We're going to keep chugging along here. Um, it's not like we're making bad picks. not like I'm making bad picks, you know. Miles Bridges was averaging 34 points and rebounds his last six games. Um, and Carl Anthony Towns in his previous matchups versus the Spurs had 38, 37, and 77. So he was, he was all, all of those said that the numbers said these uh, these were good picks. That's all we can do at the end of the day. So let's get into today's picks. All right, guys. So here's how today's gonna go down. Okay, I'm making, I'm dropping today's video a lot earlier. Just feel like doing it a lot earlier in the day today. So this is what we're gonna do here. Teams, everybody out east is locked in one through six, right? So everybody um, is gonna make the playoffs. Not really a whole lot they can do really seating there for the east. Um, the play-in can switch around a little bit. Is the only thing that can happen really out east. Um, so I know. So Miami plays today, but they've already locked the one seat. So don't know if Miami's going to end up playing all their guys. Um, Portland versus Dallas is a game you probably should really stay away from. Charlotte versus Chicago. Um, Charlotte can't really do much more for their position. They just played last night. There's a heavy chance they don't play a lot of their guys. A lot of these teams aren't going to play back-to-backs this deep into the season. Um, and they're also taking on the Bulls. So that one might be one that's, you know. Uh, and then Boston, Brooklyn versus Cleveland is going to be the most interesting one because those two teams have a little bit left to play for. Um, and... They're not, none of those teams are coming off a of back-to-back. Toronto's coming off a of back-to-back. They're probably not going to play anybody. Um, and, and uh, yeah, so a lot of these games, I, like I know the Nuggets are coming off a of back-to-back. Jokic already said he's probably not going to play tomorrow. So he said that last night he's probably not going to play tomorrow. So there's a lot. It, it gets a little messy. It's going to get a little messy these last couple of days. Teams aren't going to play back to back Star players aren't going to play. They're going to rest. They're going to get ready for the playoffs. But uh, we're going to just try to chug along and get this knocked out. I got you guys. All right, baby, so coming in hot with the lock of the day. Let's get it. We got to hit a lock of the day. We're going to hit a lock of the day. Today, this is what lock of the day is going to be for me. Um, I'm ex- I'm anticipating both Giannis, Giannis, uh, Drew Holiday, Brooke Lopez. All those guys are probably going to rest today, if I was to most likely guess it, um, to come out and say that. They're probably going to do that. I think that this is the last game of the season for the Bucks. They're playing the Detroit Pistons. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain for them. They, was, they won that big game yesterday versus Boston. They're about locked in for that two seed. So here's what I'm thinking here for this Bucks versus Pistons game. Give me their sixth man. Give me the absolute crazy eyes. Give me the fan favorite from the playoffs. Give me Bobby Portis, baby. Um, whatever they end up doing for points and rebounds here. Um, a couple games ago when he got his first start, or when he got a start since Brooke Lopez uh, has come back into the rotation. When he got this first start back since the Bobby Portis, or since... Brooke Lopez has been implemented into the lineup versus the Clippers. He had 25-8 and eight and led the way there for them scoring and had a pretty good rebounding night. So I'm anticipating him to kind of do the same thing here tonight. Um, just his straight-up rebounds isn't a bad move. 
Uh, even off the bench, he grabs a crazy amount of rebounds with 7, 9, 8, 8, 9, 5, 11, 12, 10. Averaging 9 rebounds on the season. Obviously, he was a starter for the majority of the season, but um, he's been a little bit of a of a bucket getter for them uh, out on the three-point line as well as being aggressive down low in the paint and getting some rebounds. So I'm really liking Bobby Portis for today's lock of the day, whatever they end up putting it at. If I had to just throw out a random guess, I'm probably saying 28.5, 29.5 for Bobby Portis. Uh, and I'm liking that line a lot. So that's catching is our lock of the day. And if there's anything I've learned the last couple of days, unders have been absolutely crushing it. So today I am going to go with under on the star and Kevin Durant's 30.5 points. While they're taking on a Cleveland team that doesn't have anybody on the wing that can guard him, they still have height. They have guys like Larry Markkinen, uh Evan Mobley is going to be back tonight. Those are guys that are a little bit bigger that can at least stick with Kevin Durant height-wise, right? I just think this is going to be a Kyrie Irving kind of night. Um, they can match up. They match up better with Kevin Durant than they do with Kyrie Irving. They still really don't have an elite guard or an elite um, perimeter defender. But at least those guys down low, like Isaac Okoro wasn't a bad uh, defender. I know he's kind of like a, a two slash three. Um, so I like the chances of them guarding Kevin Durant a lot better than Kyrie Irving. So I'm going to go with Kev, or I'm going to go under on Kevin Durant today, hoping that Kyrie Irving kind of steals the show tonight versus uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers. And Kevin has matched up with the Cavs twice this season in games where he only had 23 and 27. So I'm really, really liking the chances for him to go under tonight. Hoping that, Ke like I said, hoping that Kyrie Irving can steal the show. And we're going to go under on 30.5 points for Kevin Durant tonight. And our last pick of the day is going to be coming from a New York Knickerbocker. Give me RJ Barrett under 25.5 points. I, for some reason, had thought RJ Barrett actually played better without... Um, Julius Randle, he actually kind of hasn't. He only averages 21 points per game in his 11 games this year without Julius Randle. Um, I thought, for some reason, I thought he played a lot better without Randle. I know he had two 30-point games uh, when Randle wasn't in the lineup. Um, so those kind of might have been the ones that I was kind of thinking of. But actually, on, historically, on the season, he hasn't had that great performances. Also, against the Washington Wizards, is, which is who uh, R.J. Barrett takes on today. You would think that the Washington Wizards, he'd have some big games against the Washington Wizards since he's had a, a pretty big, um, uh, better impact this year scoring the ball than he did in the years past. He actually hasn't had great performances, only averaging 21 points per game in their three matchups this season. Um, they matched up three times in March. They uh, they matched up the 23rd of March, the 25th of March, and the 18th of March. So they've seen each other a lot this season, um, having 21 points, 24 points, and 18 points. And two of those games playing 40 minutes and still not managing to hit his point line. RJ Barrett low-key throws up a lot of bricks, I'm not going to lie, in his three matchups versus the, the Wizards this year. Um, while he's taking 20 shots, he's only hitting about seven of them. Shooting it from the field at 33%, which is horrendous if you're asking me from a guard um also shooting 40 percent on the season so he's shooting seven percent worse um against the wizards so for whatever reason you would think that he would have a good games versus the wizards but he's actually not historically had any good games versus the wizards so we're going to go under on that 25.5 points versus the washington wizards for rj barrett as our third and final pick of the day today all right guys with that being said we're gonna put together our perfect three slip here our own our lone and only lock of the day today is going to be coming from Bobby Portis. No official line out for Bobby Portis today for our perfect three step, but we'll get that. Um, I'll put I'll get that put into the pin comments as well and see what they end up putting that at, at or what they end up putting that at. So today's lock of the day will be Bobby Bobby Portis over on his points and rebounds. Uh, next up, give me under on Kevin Durant's thirty point five points and under on R J Barrett's twenty five point five points to lock out today's perfect three slip. All right, guys. With that being said, that's going to be the end of today's video. Um, thank you for everyone who's been sticking with me here. I know we've been kind of dry, and kind of cold. This is uh, the, definitely the coldest streak we've had on this channel. A lot has to do with the end of the season, like we've been talking about. Um, but thank, thank you, thank you for the people that are sticking with me here. They, they understand what's kind of going on in the situation, and all I can do is just, you know, do what the numbers say. Um, have been learning a lot the last couple of days, so we're gonna go with some solid unders today. We're gonna go with um, a lot of guys haven't really been performing with their overs, so I'm gonna just kind of go with a couple of unders here. And I'm really liking. Um, and then just the one over with Bobby Portis that I know he'll crush that line. Um, Bobby Portis could end up chaining because uh, I know I'm most likely thinking here that the Mil Milwaukee's going to sit a lot of guys today versus uh, the Pistons. So we're going to probably, if that ends up, if say Bobby Portis ends up sitting, obviously we'll have to switch that around a little bit. But uh, I'm assuming they'll, they'll sit the starting lineup most likely. Um, and then that'll put Bobby Portis into the starting lineup. Um, even like a Jordan Wara, if they end up even sitting like a Bobby Porter, a Jordan Wara would, would not be a bad option versus the Pistons and the Bucks there. 
Uh, but with that being said, thank you guys so much. Um, today is Friday. Tomorrow is Saturday. Tomorrow I am going to be moving um, down to Mississippi, 13 hours down to Mississippi. Uh, a lot of you guys, you know, pick on me for moving to Mississippi because it's it's technically like the 49th worst state uh, when you look at all the factors like economy, obesity, uh, you know, uh, crime and all that kind of junk. It's like the 49th worst state. But I'm actually going to a town called Ocean Springs that is actually the fourth best city in Mississippi to live in. It has the best employment rate, the safest uh, big city in Mississippi. Um, also, a really cheap coastal town. It's actually a really a really nice place. So I know a lot of you guys clown me for going to Mississippi, but it's actually a pretty nice place. Um, with that being said, I'm moving tomorrow. Um, so today's video, I'm going or so I'm going to record tomorrow's video tonight. Um, so it's going to be a, another one of those videos like I did with the uh, when I went to uh, Colorado for the wedding, where I'm not going to have any picks up, but I have I'll throw out some picks that I have some ideas about, um, and then I'll schedule that to post early Saturday morning. And then we'll try to get knock out the trip in one day. Of course, like I said, my girlfriend's pregnant. So um, however she's feeling, we might end up stopping, whatever kind of happens. But I'll definitely get out a video tomorrow. It'll be posted super early. I'll schedule it to post and stuff like that. And then we'll kind of figure out how things go on Sunday and we'll take it from there. Um, with that being said, I will catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.